Wow, that's a light. Uh, hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Uh, the first thing I want to say is I want to, th I want to thank Zorovsky for sponsoring this event and for doing all the wonderful things they do for the CFDA Awards. This year will be their 10th anniversary with the CFDA Awards, 10 years that they support us. And so we miss, we're very, very sorry that Nadia is not here. She had an emergency board meeting. But Nadia, we love you and we support you and uh, thank you so much. So the other thing I want to say before we start is that we had this morning, we had a board meeting and uh, unanimously the first thing we talked about is what can we do for our friends in Japan and uh, you know how we can raise money and uh, so it, I think it is important for the fashion industry to get together and uh, to salute our friends in the rising sun country and let them know that we love them, support them, and we'll help them as much as we, as we can. We want to do something that will raise a lot of money, so we thought that the best thing we can do is uh, create an online auction that will be ongoing with huge packages and with every designer is going to try to make big packages and not just the designers but the friends of the designers, the suppliers of the designers and the clients of the designers. We all, as the fashion industry will want to get together and um, support Japan and uh, and um, bring them give them money as, as much money as we possibly can so uh, now I will present I will tell you about the awards first the awards that we do have a final uh, the international award will go to Phoebe Philo from Celine. Uh, the Eugenia Shepherd Media Award for, um, I, I just want to tell the young ones who Eugenia Shepherd was. She was a, a woman who really pioneered in fashion journalism. So that award will go to our friend Hilary Ale Alexander. And uh, we have the Eleanor Lambert Founders Award. And Eleanor Lambert was a lady that was really important in fashion. And she organized fashion, and she wrote for fashion, and she did so many things. So to illustrate her work, uh, we felt that Al Rubinstein was the right person. <laughs> and then we have the fashion Icon Award and overwhelming, all the votes went to someone who actually created a fashion revolution, Lady Gaga. Uh, our Board of Director Awards, uh, we want to give a special tribute and a special award to Arthur Elgord, who, who really has created such a who understands American fashion so well and has illustrated it so well, so I think it's very deserved. <laughs> and last but not least, the Jeff Jeffrey Bean Lifetime Award will go to Mark Jacobs. <laughs> and a few minutes ago, I got an email from Mark. He was very happy, but he said it's only a half lifetime award because he's halfway finished. So I told him I was much older than him, and I, I was still kicking, so. <laughs> so for now, I would like Stephen to come in. So, so I'm filling in for Nadia, and I get to introduce the Swarovski Award nominees. So we'll start with Swarovski Award for Accessory Design. We actually have four designers in that category, and they are Alejandro. There was a, um, there should be three, but there was a tie, so we had to actually add the four. So it's fair to everybody. And the four are Alejandro and Gelmo. <laughs> Eddie Borgo. <laughs> Jason Wu. <laughs> and Pamela Love. 
And the Swarovski Award for menswear nominees are Alexander Wang, <laughs> Philip Lim, and Robert Geller. And Swarovski Award for Women's Wear are Joseph Altazara, <laughs> Ashley and Mary Kate Olson, <laughs> and Prabal Gauri. <laughs> and Diane's going to now announce the big category. Well, I will announce the category that you can all still vote for. So, uh, the Accessory Designer of the, of the Year, we have nominees, Alexander Wang, Jack and Lazaro from Prons and Suler, and, and Reed Krakow. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Uh, all right, so I, I guess I'm doing menswear too. Um, and the Menswear Designer of the Year nominees are Michael Bastian, Patrick Gravel, and Simon Spur. And the nominees for the uh, Women's Wear are Alexander Wang, Jack and, sorry, Jack and Lazaro from Prons and Schuller, and Mark Jacobs. So, vote, only once, but vote. <laughs> and, uh, and I will see you all at the award on Monday, June 6th at uh, Lincoln Center. We actually will send out the voting ballots around the week of May 6th, so you should look for that. Uh, as Diane said, the event is June 6th at uh, Alice Tully Hall, Lincoln Center. And last, we just wanted to announce a new sponsor that we have for the CFDA Awards this year, and that's Lexus, which is joining us as the official automotive sponsor. So thank you to Lexus and Swarovski, and thanks for coming. <laughs>